Welcome to Draw My Story, and I'm here with one more horror story as we're drawing today from the story of Chucky. Yes, the chilling and iconic villain of all time, the fictional character from the Child's Play franchise. Chucky's a notorious serial killer whose spirit inhabits a good guy's doll and continuously tries to transfer his soul from the doll to a human body. With the huge success of the first movie in 1988, Chucky quickly became one of the era's scariest slasher villains, followed by many sequels after the first movie. So let's take a look into the story of this killer doll. As the story goes, Lee Ray flees from the police, runs into a toy store, and right before he dies, he recites a voodoo spell and transfers himself into a good guy doll with burning red hair, freckles, and little overalls. Karen, a single mother, buys the doll from a guy on the street and gives it to her son, Andy. Chucky then starts killing people immediately, framing Andy for it. Later, Chucky learns that to get back into a human body, he must transfer his soul into the first person he told his secret to, which was Andy. And finally, when he was just swapping the souls, Detective Norris and Karen arrived just in time. They threw him in the fireplace, then killed him by shooting him through his heart. After the event, the sales of good guy dolls have suffered because of the killings, and the CEO of Playpals, the company that makes those dolls, ordered the old Chucky doll remake so it can be inspected and proven harmless. But during the rendering process, a man dies of electrocution. When one employee tries to get rid of Chucky, he suffocated him. He then attacked Andy in his foster home, but with the help of his foster sister, Kyle, they exploded him into pieces. Playpals opens the factory again after eight years, figuring the bad publicity is over. They started manufacturing the good guy doll again, and once again they brought Chucky back to life. He then killed the CEO and started terrorizing teenage Andy. When he found out he doesn't need Andy anymore, he used a new kid, Tyler, from Andy's school. But as Andy continues to interrupt Chucky's plan, he tries to kill him and also several others. Chaos continued until Tyler and Andy teamed up and defeated Chucky, whose face was scarred and limbs were chopped off in the process. Again in the same year, Tiffany, Charles Lee's old girlfriend, got her hands on Chucky's leftover parts and brought him back from the dead after a ritual. After transferring Tiffany's soul into a bride doll, the two terrorized a young couple in an attempt to transfer their souls into human bodies. But Tiffany had a last-minute change of heart and she tried to stop Chucky. Finally, Tiffany was burned to death and Chucky was fatally shot. But twist, Tiffany was actually pregnant with Chucky and a demon child sprung from her doll at the end. After six years, Glenda, the child of Chucky and Tiffany, brought the parents back to life. The trio then sets their sights on a fading actress, Jennifer Tilly. It starts getting pretty crazy immediately thereafter. Tiffany wanted Tilly to have her babies. So she inseminates Tilly with Chucky's seed, which results in her giving birth to twins. Later on, Chucky kills Tiffany and in a fit of rage, Glenda killed Chucky. But before that, Tiffany was able to transfer her soul into Jennifer. Tilly and Glenda into the new twins. Five years later, the twins receive a mail in their birthday and found an arm of Chucky which attacked them. After that event, Sarah Pierce was living with her daughter Nika in a big empty house when a package was delivered with a Chucky doll inside. Later that night, Sarah died. Nika's sister Barb then arrived with the family. Nika did some research about the creepy doll in the house. Since it keeps popping up in strange places and she found all the killings connected to the doll. Later, Barb peeled the makeup to reveal all the scars to find the real Chucky. Chucky then went on killing everyone, except Nika, who was injured while fighting Chucky, who was almost killed. When police arrived and caught Nika, doubting she's the prime suspect and took her. Later, Tiffany attacked the police and took Chucky's remaining with her. After that, Nika was sent to a psychiatric facility where a therapist was trying to convince her that Chucky was just part of her imagination. 
Chunky now has learned how to multiply himself and he's growing a whole cult around him. Well, Andy became an adult now who attempts to stop Chucky once and for all. In the 2019 remake of Child's Play, Chucky is presented as a high-tech, artificially intelligent buddy doll who gradually develops murderous tendencies as he tries to maintain his bond with his owner, Andy Barclay. So that was Chucky's story. With its creepiest appearance and maniacal activities, Chucky has been able to become one of the most recognizable horror icons who's lasted for 30 years now. And that was today's episode about the Chucky doll. Comment and let me know who wants to have one. And subscribe to my channel, guys, if you want to see more Draw My Story videos like this one. Till then, bye.